A fire restoration company suddenly went out of business last week, leaving homeowners around the Puget Sound wondering if their homes will get finished. Good evening, I'm Aaron Wright. And I'm Monique Minglovin, and our Jesse Jones spoke with the family in Linwood. They may not have a place to live if the work to their home isn't done soon. And it burnt and put a, a hole through the roof, so. Yeah, it uh, started coming through. What do you yeah, say to an it. elderly couple burned out of their home? How are you feeling right now? Not yeah. feeling too well about what's going on and dumped on by their contractor. They took the time enough to drag all of that stuff out of the container and put it here in our yard and leave it up to us to figure out what to do with it. And now Walter and Denise Griffin are in a race to get their home finished before the rain starts and their housing funds end. So you guys might be out. We, just we might be out. This is what we got left from dealing with these people. It's really bad. These people happen to be statewide restoration, a fire damage restoration company that suddenly went out of business last week. We received a text message, a, a group message from the project manager from statewide who was upset and told us we should get go to the media, et cetera. These guys are going out of business. They won't be finishing your home. Darnell Griffin is Walter and Denise's son. What went through your heart at that point? A shock. Just shock. Darnell tells me statewide showed up to their parents' home during that early morning kitchen fire in January. It's like, hi, and it said we're with statewide. And it's like, how'd you know about this? Oh, we heard it on the scanner. Yeah, so you call them fire chasers. So uh, as soon as they hear of a fire, they're kind of coming to your house and they try to convince you in a time of despair to sign their contract. Zeke Nistrian is an electrical contractor who says statewide owes him more than $50,000. However, he too worries about homeowners like the Griffins. Yeah, just done, nowhere to go. Like, where are you gonna go? You have no more money to build your house back because they took all their money. Like, what are you gonna do? We called the local number for the company and it was disconnected. Its website is down and the private equity business backing statewide restoration has also not returned our calls. Nothing has been done. The Griffins say work started in February. Now it's the end of September and the house is still down to studs. Darnell says statewide restoration has received more than $40,000. Yes, indeed. Now Denise and Walter are receiving notices that liens from subcontractors may be on the way. And they've just been taking advantage of us, taking this long to do this job. This is what we got left from dealing with these people. It's, it's pretty bad. Man, I, okay, I won't get angry. Now, one thing, it cost the Griffins two grand to clean up their driveway. Also spoken to several other homeowners who are impacted by the shutdown. And here's what's crazy about this. Statewide restoration is doing work all over the region. And they have a $12,000 bond. Five other people are up on that bond. They want around $80,000 from them. The Griffins will come in and they'll get next to nothing. The law is weak. The law is a sham and a shame. A $12,000 bond. Businesses go under. It happens, but there's no way that a huge business like this, they're doing work in Colorado. Remember the, the fires out there? Right. They left Colorado too. Mm -hmm. And those oh, people are out. No. It's $12,000 bond. They're out. The Griffins are out. All these other families are out. And we just sit here and say, that's okay. That's a problem to me. I already talked to a state legislator. We're going to try to do something about this because, okay, I'm done. They've got nothing. <laughs> right. Their house is down to the studs. They, right. And it's just, it's, it's so weak and it's so disappointing. And we know we can do better than this. Twelve grand. Wow. If the law allows Walter and Denise to be left out in the cold like that, the law probably needs to change. And, and it better. And yeah. like I said, I've already talked to at least one legislator today. And we're both like, man, something, something's got to happen here because this is 
wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I look forward to seeing some change and seeing yeah. w what happens with them. Thank you, Jesse, you for bringing that to light. Now, if you have something you want Jesse to investigate, call him. There's his number, 844-77-JESSE. You can also submit story ideas on jessejones.com.